Hey guys, how you doing? I'm here to help you out with um, the problem you've been having while you've been playing video games with your wrist and everything. Uh, last year I had problems with my wrist and I found out it came from playing Xbox. Um, I figured out that it all came from the way I was holding the controller. And the way I got all the wrist pain was because I was holding the controller. Let me, let me raise up my camera real quick. There we go. So I was holding the controller like this. And I think that's everybody's um, usual position when they're playing games. If you're from the side and you're sitting in a chair, I mean, I'm just showing you from the side. But usually when we're playing the game, we're in the chair and we have our wrist pointed down. And, you know, we're just playing away, not thinking about it. But I'm 35 years old and I've been playing games since I was seven. And then all of a sudden, this, this just started catching up to me. So after doing this for about three hours playing Battlefield and just jamming on the thumbsticks and everything, just like this, I developed really bad pain in my wrists, like so bad that I can barely even lift anything. So um, I didn't know that was a problem at first, so I kept doing it and it just got worse and worse. So I took a break and then when I came back and started playing the same way, the pain came back. So that's when I realized I had to change the way I was holding the controller. So I did research and everything, and uh, basically it came down to people saying, you know, take a break, and then when you come back to it and you're healed up, keep your wrist straight. Keep your wrist straight like that. I tried that, and it just still didn't work because there was so much movement on my wrist. So let me show you what I bought to help keep my wrist straight. Let me show you one sec. All right, so what I bought was I went on Amazon, and I bought these wrist guards so let me show you what they look like i bought two of them because my wrists uh were not straight no matter how i um how much i try to keep them straight so i'm just putting it on real quick let me see strap it up tight show you how this goes my hands are pretty big so when i had this on um i actually cut a little area for my thumb to come out even more so I get more wiggle room because it was kind of pressing on my um, thumb area right there. But this has like a, some type of stabi stabilizer thing. I don't know, I don't know the technical names for all this stuff. I already made it. But when you strap this up tight, your wrist stays pretty straight. So that solved that problem. I was able to gain and keep my wrist straight. So when you have this wrist brace and you know that you're supposed to keep it straight, you're conscious of the problem, You'll solve that problem. You won't have wrist pain anymore because you're working on it. And also you have something that's helping you keep it uh, straight. So that wasn't, that didn't solve all my problems. So, and like I said, I had two of them. So I bought two of these. So I had both of them keep my wrist straight and everything. So my next problem was, you know, I solved the wrist problem. But the next thing was I had problems with a different part of my wrist. I had pain all the way down here. And I was like, damn, you know, I'm getting depressed now. I can't play video games. I can't give it up. So um, I figured out that it was because my pinky finger was clenched the whole time. And that's a normal position, too. When we play games, we grab, we grip the controller like this. And this stays like this for hours. It doesn't move. And I looked up uh, some article and it said, you know, that's not a normal hand position. So I, I, I tried to think of a way to uh, keep my hand in uh, a normal open position to give me the opposite grip of this. So the opposite of this would be like that, like an open position. Um, so what I did was, this looks kind of janky, but it worked. This solved all my problems. I got a towel like this, just like a normal um, hand towel. I fold it like this, fold it again. I'm sorry, I'm not keeping this in the camera, right? Fold it like that, fold it again, okay? And then I, f I fold it one more time. Now what I'm gonna do with this is prop it under the controller and you're gonna see that this is gonna make my grip really big, like an open, kind of like an open fist in a natural hand position, as if you were resting your hand while you're sleeping or just doing nothing with your hand. So, and I got these, uh, these Velcro, strips nothing expensive here going on but this really solved my problem and i was 
happy again because I could play without having wrist pain. All right, so the first thing I did was I strapped it up like that. And then I thought, how am I gonna get it onto the controller? Because this is my, this is what I wanted. I wanted it like this, so when I grip it, see how my hand is pretty much resting open? Not like this, it's like that. That's what I wanted. That was my goal. So then I had to, I had to think about how I'm gonna strap it to the controller. So, me being a genius I am, I just got another Velcro strip and just strap that bad boy onto the controller. So I'm not good at making videos, so bear with me, but you'll get the point. So basically, put it here like that, and uh, let me try to get it neat. Ah, this is sticky. All right. Oh, time's up. I put a, I put a six minute timer, because I didn't want to make this video too long, but I went over my six minutes, but it's all good. All right, so basically I'm just strapping it up, just like that. And that's what solved all my problems. Just like that. I basically elevated the controller and made a lot more space in between my hand to go from this to that. That's the goal there. So when I hold the controller now, it's nice and comfortable. Um, my hand is open. It works. So now when I play games, I don't have any more pain. Sometimes I still have pain when I'm playing first person shooters. For example, like Battlefield, because when you play Battlefield, you you click um, this left thumbstick to run, and I find myself doing it a lot. And when I'm getting really into the game, I'm just jamming on the thumbsticks, and uh, this uh, thumb gets kind of sore. But I'm learning to take it easy, so it's just habits or whatever. But um, yeah, you'll find that this will solve your problem if you're having the same type of pain as me. Once again, I had the wrist pain, and I had the pain all the way down my uh, this side of my wrist here from here to here. Also, I had numbness. If you see numbness, if you feel numbness in your wrist or your fingers, uh, I heard that's a sign of carpal tunnel, so you gotta cut it out. You gotta stop what you're doing and learn how to reverse it. Um, doing this stuff, this helped me uh, get rid of the numbness. A lot of my numbness was coming from these areas, and it was from uh, keeping it clenched like that. So if you can get your, your, uh, your palms open, I think that'll stop your numbness. So, yeah, this is the final result here. It works. It's cheap, you know, and uh, you'll stop being depressed because you can't play games without pain. <laughs> All right, guys. Also, uh, you got your head port jack open. So I, I plug in my headphones. I use wired headphones just like that. I plug those in there. And then um, I, all, I don't use this. And then I also plug the, um, the uh, controller uh, wire in there because I don't like using batteries um, But yeah, that's it. All right, so uh, I'll leave the link to um, the wrist uh, braces in the description below You can jump on those on Amazon and um, You know you can buy some velcro straps from hardware store or Whatever and I'm pretty sure you got a towel like this laying around the house. This will solve your problem. I'm pretty sure All right guys take it easy leave a comment below if you have um, any other ideas and uh I hope this solves all your problems. Thank you. Bye.